are special, we are awesome, we are family. We're full of love, we're full of life, we're a special, awesome family. We're a special, awesome family. It's our special, awesome family. Hey everybody, it is just now going into the new year. Happy New Year, everybody! We are here at Times Square. The kids are still in bed. I did not wake them, but me, Lonzy, Rich, and Dee Dee wanted to come up here and suck and of course, Casey and Tap wanted to see Times Square. Uh, fireworks go off. So here we are. What a way to start the new year, right? This is still on the, uh, 31st. Well, now it's the first because it's 12 o'clock. But, beautiful night for fireworks, let me tell you. Wow, look at that. That was pretty colorless. Didn't want to upset the kids, so we didn't make them. They're tired. Yeah, they need the rest, so. We have workers with them, taking care of them. <sighs> We're all standing out here watching the fireworks in the cold. And they are everywhere. Um, so we are live right now in the Times Square area. It is beautiful up here. Wow, look at that. Our kids, some of them would love this, some of them would not love it so much. But they were exhausted, and I wasn't gonna wake them up because they're tired. So, and I'm gonna video. This is exciting. Twenty twenty four, you guys. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, let me tell you. Oh, here goes more. I didn't want to miss this, because last year we did, because we were too tired, but this year I didn't want to miss it. We just didn't know the room last year, but this year. You know we're dedicated when we're out here in the cold watching this, right? So, one of our nannies we have is a friend of ours named Loretta. She came to live with us. She also has autism. And it's really smart with the kids. She loves the girls so much. All the, all the kids love her. And so, she's back in the hotel with the kids. And all of the other workers we have. <coughs> so yeah, we're just enjoying the fireworks and our new year together. Our special awesome family is officially a year old. Well, you guys, it will be anyway. So, Happy New Year from our special awesome family. Good morning, everybody. We're up and going. It is about 9 a.m. We are at Hudson Yards. Going through the shops down here. 
kids are all doing good. The girls are off from Loretta and uh, eh. Loretta and Katie took the girl. Well, took uh, see me, Tempe, Randy, Naomi. Um, you know the ones that ones that didn't go were. The, <clears throat> uh, it was Napier. Freya. Hey guys, look at all these. So a few more of our friends came this morning. And they have some with disabilities and they came this morning. Which is great. So we're having a great time out here. It's cold as ice! But we don't care. So we had breakfast at a little coffee shop down the road from the hotel. <clears throat> and now we're just walking around. <clears throat> sort of going through the New Year's special sale and stuff. Oh! Okay, guys. So we're just looking around. See what Hudson Yards have to offer. <clears throat> uh, where do they still play? Oh, okay. They're still playing Christmas music. So now we're just <coughs> walking around letting, uh, our friend Finn Bar guide us because he knows uh, him and Dane a lot, know a lot about New York, so. Just walking around down here. It's beautiful. Cold though. Ooh. So now we're taking the circle line tour, guys. This is so cool, you got a boat and you take a tour. <clears throat> Our family takes up most of it. <laughs> is that cool, Daniel? Daniel likes it, he likes the boat. We went down a bunch of elevators earlier for him. <clears throat> Cause there's loads of them around here. So we're gonna have lunch at um, Hank's Pizza. <clears throat> and then tonight, I don't know. Hey guys, so now we're at Central Park, uh, we just got down the circle line to work, came over here to Central Park for a bit, kids are loving all those screens and stuff, but it's a lot, see a lot of screens, and of course we raise our kids to sort of ignore that, but sometimes they don't. Wow, how nice. It is ice cold though. There's a gator going by. A lot of people in NYC don't really drive a lot. They walk through places. They don't, you know, because the streets are so crowded that they just walk. <coughs> and that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Fred was upset because he couldn't see. There you go, Fred, Fred. <coughs> she got a little tired, so I put her in her shoulder for a little bit because she was walking a long way.
All right, just looking around over here. Enjoy the view. Next couple days, there's gonna be a whole lot of walking around and stuff. Just kind of, a, you know, look around. A lot of gator riders and bikes up here. A lot of people at the markets today. Then again, it was just, in, you know, Christmas, so. Wow. There's the girls up ahead. <laughs> so we're in the Tempe and Lauren and the Cobalt went skiing this morning for a little bit. At a ski resort up here. We had a great time. I was gonna go, but um, Faye was having a few seizures, but she was okay now. Oh look guys, there's some Amish people, see? So cool, huh? I got Fran in store. Look at the horse and buggy they got, guys. So it is... <clears throat> A little after 11.30. <clears throat> we hit the city at 9.30 this morning. Had breakfast. And just came out here to hit the city for a bit. A few elevators to Kyle. Anyway, Kyle. So Kylie is off with one of his friend's family. They went over to um, Coney Island today. So he's gone all day for a while. Him and Bodie and all them. Might go to Max tonight because Bodie wants to try the Mac place. So we may try that tonight. The girls went over to Christopher and Banks to do some shopping. Watch out, honey. <clears throat> and we're just walking aimlessly, just kind of walking. And, um, I know we're either going to, be either going to do Max or we're just going to have some kind of other surprise he had for us. So, goodness knows. So, we're going to have lunch soon. Have the kids get out for naps, probably. Some of the ones that need it. I don't know that Kelly will video this time because he's focused on his rides and his friends right now. So he may not video this one. I don't know. He may though. You okay, Freya? I think she's getting tired. So we're just walking the streets. Good job with your wheelchair, Daniel. He guides himself really well. He's, I mean, he's doing great. I, we had to get Kyle's wheelchair out because he was getting tired, so we got his wheelchair out. So we just had lunch at a <coughs> uh, local restaurant down here. Really good. We went to Hank's and had pizza. Super good food, and it was awesome. Um, 
I checked on Kylie, he's okay. <sighs> so we're just gonna walk around a little bit and relax. Probably take the kids down to take a nap for a little bit. And do some more walking. That's what we do. See, that's what we do, huh, Freya? So Daniel's really good doing good guiding himself. <clears throat> There's another horse and buggy, Ezra. Look. Ezra is into horses now. We don't know how it started, but he's always loved our horses, but never really, you know, got it real so the so end to it. Well, a couple nights ago, um, we were out tuning the horses, and we also did our hypotherapy, and he goes, can I ride one? I'm like, yeah. So he got on <clears throat> Jimbo, rode him, and he's now hooked. Ooh, look, motorcycles, guys. So we got a little lost. So we're heading back. Put the kids down for naps for a little bit. And then we're gonna pick it back up after a little bit. Hey guys, so we had a nap. Um, took about an hour and a half nap. Um, the kids took about a two hour nap, but we took about an hour and a half. Now we're just kind of driving around for a bit. <coughs> The kids have never been on a subway, so we're going to take a subway here in a minute. Got to find where we want to go to get the subway. We also rode a humongous Ferris wheel, which Kylie would have been proud of. Um, so, he's going to be exhausted tonight, not really wanting to do anything, because they've been gone all day. Then Coney Island... And he's gonna be too tired. Which is gonna be bad. Let's go find the subway. Hmm? We're on a subway, guys. You guys excited? They got a little more rest. This way, Daniel. Okay, we're gonna do it. Are you excited? Yeah, let's get our seats, guys. I've wanted to do this ever since I've been here before, but um, we never did it. Now this week, we are. We're doing a lot of things differently this year that we didn't do last year. Um, the girls just got on the on the subway. They went over to Christopher and Banks and Sachs, and they went over to um, Macy's. So, <clears throat> they've got quite a few bags with them. <laughs> so we're having a good day. Uh, we decided, well, Rich decided he's got some reservations for us tonight. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, though. I'm going to surprise you guys. Because I already know what it is. I'm going to just surprise you. <sighs> Here we go, guys. Seen all the sights. Yeah. Uh, 
So we've always wanted to do a sub ride, but we didn't think our kids really wanted to do a subway ride. But they did. So that's what we're doing. The girls have been saving their money, their Christmas money, and their allowance money for a while for this, so. They're in a fairy tale now. They're all excited. <laughs> so, they went to a New York deli down here and loved it. They brought me back a grinder, and oh my gosh, you guys are. <sighs> Them big sandwiches are so good, but they're, well, I had to save some of mine. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go back. So now we're going to go back to where we were. And then I think we're gonna head into a carriage ride, which will bind up for us. <sighs> the kids are having a good time, so am I. Lonzie's right there. By the way, it is New Year's Day, guys. Just letting you know. <laughs> it is New Year's Day. Really enjoying this uh, subway ride. Oh my goodness, the kids are just awed by all the noises and stuff. Hey guys, we just got off the subway and now we're on a carriage ride. And look at that. They have grand horses too, buddy. They're huge. Wow. The kids are enjoying this. They know what a carriage is, so they've been on carriage rides. But never one right in the middle of downtown New York City, though. You like it, guys? It's cool. Yeah. Ooh, the horses are big. Yeah, Daniel, they are big. Don't the cars scare them? Mm, not that they're used to it by now. They've been here a while, I think. So there's a trade center right there. Successfully rebuilt, basically. That's where my kingdom walked when the um um big boom happened. That's right. That's where my kingdom walked. That's right. So we're just kind of. Enjoying the ride. So now we're just walking back to get our bus because we're going to be heading over to have dinner pretty soon. 
Kylie and his friends just got back. And as I thought, Kylie is rather tired because they didn't nap. You know, you would think that Daniel would have a hard time guiding his wheelchair through all this traffic, but he hasn't. Good job, buddy. So proud of you. I mean, he's going fast. So we're gonna head back over to pick up the bus. And then we're gonna go get dinner. And, um, well, okay, I'll tell you. We're going on a dinner train. We've never been, well, we went, we've been on one a few years ago. But the kids have never been on one, so we're going to do that tonight. What's the traffic, Daniel? Thank you. Be careful, honey. I'm a good driver, Mama. Yes, you are a good driver, an excellent driver. Good job, Ewan. Ray, you're doing good. There's Miss Avia. I did have to ask if they had gluten-free items because our kids, some of our kids can't have gluten, so. Have to now keep that into effect, so. Heading back over to the bus to get the bus and then head over to the train, us and the, also the Doherty. So we're all load up on the train and have dinner on the train. <laughs> all right, guys, we're headed over to the train to get our train for dinner. So guys, we are on the train. And what is it, no, what, what is it, no, it's okay, whatever, right here. what it does, it takes you all around the NYC, Brooklyn area too. And you get to eat a wonderful dinner of different things, very elegant. Kids are loving it, we're loving it. And they have a good gluten-free menu for kids, which is good, because our kids, a lot of them are going gluten-free now. Good food too, I'll tell you, it's real good food. So I wasn't gonna tell you until we actually got in here and just kinda had you guess, but I was like, no, they might not be able to guess, and it's just not a good idea. So we are tucking into a luscious feast of good food. Good New York style food. So this is uh, our first full day in NYC. Our second day on travel. We slept all pretty good last night. It was amazing, of course. So yeah. What's really cool is um, the nannies took the kids so we could have some private time alone. So Lindsay and I are sitting here. Where's Indy over here? And another couple right over there. So yeah. <sighs> they get the kids get to have dinner and we get to have that. So it's good food, guys. They also, in the kids part of it, show a movie, so kids are happy. <clears throat> and we get to have a little date, too. So, yeah. So we're just enjoying the ride. And the amazing food we're tucking into. So yeah, it's good stuff. 
really good stuff. Whoa, that scared the mess out of me. So we're just gonna take a ride on the bus for a while to kind of just see what's going on. Hey guys, get ready to get on the bus, okay? So they had a wonderful time on the train. It was really good. The kids loved it. They showed um, Free Willy, and of course the kids all love that. It was really good. Hey, my nose is running again. Anyway, so we're gonna take a little ride down, see what's going on. Probably not a whole lot. There's lots going on in NYC. Nobody sleeps here, but we're just gonna take a ride and probably head back to the hotel. And uh, I mean, we have kids that need to be in bed by a certain time. Kids like Kyle and Daniel and Elon and Avia and Freya, Asa have to be in bed at a certain time. Okay, buddy, get on up there. Come on, let's see. So, we're just driving around downtown. Our friend Josh is driving so we can relax with the kids. Anyway, so we're just riding around. Seeing what kind of mischief we can get into, which isn't much now because the kids are getting tired. So we're still just driving around, aimlessly driving. I mean, they know where they're going, and we're just sitting here driving. It's traffic -y crazy. Liam's asleep. Aww. Some of the kids are getting tired, some of the toddlers especially. Okay, so we are back at the hotel. Push it, Kyle. We're gonna take a little few elevator rides. Oh, that way it calms them down. Good job, Kyle. So they're starting to get tired, I think. Um, it's, it's late, so later. Okay, buddy. Let's go up again. So um, some of the kids had to go back to the hotel and they were just tired and fussy and this one really wants to ride some elevators, and I owe it to him. Squeaky old elevator. Here we go again, bud. Is this cool or what? This is the older one. I don't like the sound of this one. It's gated. Okay, let's try this one, Kyle. Alright, ready? 
This is gated too. I am not much for gated elevators because I've had a bad experience with them, but Kyle loves them. And they make him happy. old. I do not like it, but he likes it. Uh oh. We stuck, Bubba? You ready? Let's go again. He could do this all night long. Don't think it's we're all tired. Good job, Kyle. Push two, buddy. Here, go in here. Over here, Kyle. Yep, go up. Push two, bub. I'm exhausted, I don't warn you, because it's been a long day. We've been traveling all day and running around, and I'm tired, but he needs the time to decompress and kind of finish his thoughts. So, letting him do that. Got all the other kids to bed. And Jewel came up and surprised us with a new young man. His name is Raymond. We call him Ray. He has severe autism and he also loves elevators. Ray, you like that? Push three, Ray. Good boy. So him and Kyle are enjoying the elevators. I am too. I'm just tired. Let's go down. So this is some of what we do to get Kyle calmed down enough to go to sleep because the, t the days are difficult when he needs to process stuff. It just takes time. Come on, buddy. Let's go up. I'm really tired, you guys. I don't know why. I'm tired. Okay, we're gonna go in the gate one more time, guys, and we're gonna go home. Uh, in the room, alright? Okay, we're gonna the gate one more time, alright? Guys, and then we're all done. One more time, then all done. Okay, one more time, all right? And we gotta go back to our room, okay? Because it's getting late, it's like after 10, and I am exhausted, and the kids need to be going to bed. <laughs> Okay guys, all done. Hey guys, we're in the hotel. We finally got the kids to bed and everything. It's like, it's almost a good night. I hope you guys are all having a great day and thank you for enjoying our first, first full day in NYC with us. And um, all that. So we're just trying to get the kids to bed. Oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> Tired. It's been a very long but a good day. I'm my body's sore, but you know what? It's been a wonderful day. We've had a beautiful, beautiful day.
Is that? That is the boys. Dane and Lane are upstairs. Lane's pacing because he does that when he gets tired. Lane, bed please. So this is what noise I'm hearing. As I'm trying to go to sleep. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all have a great night tonight. I will talk to y'all in the morning. I'm going to try to get these boys to bed and go to sleep because it's late. I'm tired, and I know they are. So, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.